<laughs> Liz Abib is here, starts us off with basketball. Lakers, uh, I guess Lakers did fine. Kobe, not so good. Kobe kind of had an off night. Lakers had a very nice night. Bulls, bad night. Not too long ago, trade rumors had Kobe Bryant headed to Chicago. Well, the struggling Bulls have won just two games this season. And Kobe's probably just tickled he's not following in Michael Jordan's footsteps. One person who isn't feeling tickled tonight, though, is Kwame Brown. Nasty spill in the first quarter. Ben Wallace takes Kwame out at the knees. Brown in a lot of pain. Left the game with a sprained knee and ankle. X-rays were negative. Kobe had a fairly quiet night, but keyed a huge Lakers run. Number 24 scored 10 of his 18 in the third quarter. The Lakers scored 18 unanswered points over the third and fourth quarters, and they beat Beat Chicago easily, handily, 106 to 78. The Boston Celtics returned to glory as ahead of schedule. The Green Machine took its undefeated record into Orlando in search of its ninth straight win. James Posey's three-pointer gave Boston a late one-point lead. The Magic conjure up some hocus pocus. Hey, do Kukolu. Drills the tray. Turkaloo. Yes. Orlando hands Boston its first loss of the season, 104 102. Buffalo, New York, the center of the football universe tonight. Not so much for the Bills, but for who they were playing. Undefeated New England, looking to go 10 0. Tom. At the other end of the spectrum, those hapless guppies called the Dolphins. Miami, still looking for its first win this season, smells fear in Philly. Can a dolphin smell fear? Not sure, but it can't smell the end zone. Ted Ginn report, returns a punt 87 yards for a TD. Miami led 7-0. In 1972, the Dolphins went 17-0. 35 years later, they are on the verge of a complete about-face. A.J. Feely replaced an injured Donovan McNabb and led the Eagles to a 17-7 win. Miami is now 0-10. The Dallas Cowboys look more and more like the team best capable of competing with those perfect Patriots. Even when they screw up, they're exciting. Tony Romo's pass intended for Terrell Owens is picked off by London Fletcher. Unfortunately for the Skins, Romo and T.O. connect more often than not. The duo hooked up for four touchdowns. Dallas won it 28-23. to Kermit the Frog here, sideline reporter working the crowd at Lambeau Field. Packers hosting Carolina. Tremont Williams looking for a to return a punt. Actually, he nearly gets tackled by his own teammate. Whoa, but stays on his feet and goes 94 yards for the touchdown. Old man Brett Favre beat the even older man, Vinny Testaverde, 31 to 17. Jeff, you don't like that, calling those guys old men, do you? I can see it in your face. NASCAR season finale proved to be just the kind of Sunday drive Jimmy Johnson hoped for. He became the first driver to win back-to-back -back championships since teammate Jeff Gordon did it in 97 and 98. Johnson finished seventh at Homestead Miami Speedway, but walked away with the top prize. Here's Weibel. Brad Davis. The New England area has the World Series title, may add the Super Bowl as well, but the MLS Cup belongs to Houston. The Dynamo beat the New England Revolution 2-1 to one in the championship game to win its second consecutive MLS Cup. Plenty of great playoff games over the weekend in high school football, and we're counting on you to help us show them all off at foxhighlightsla.com. You shoot it, we'll share it. These highlights come to us from the Riverside Notre Dame Desert Playoff game on Friday. That Scorpions quarterback Terrence Wells faking the handoff and making a run for it. He cut through the Notre Dame defense, but couldn't cut the Titans' lead. Notre Dame won it 54-36. The Titans will now play 29 Palms this Friday in the quarterfinals. We are not above bribery around here. So upload new video at foxhighlightsla.com and become eligible to win an iPod Touch, like an iPhone. No phone, iPod Touch. It's a cool little gizmo. Don't forget to vote on which playoff games you'd like to see featured on our newscast. There's some really good ones to vote on. I checked out the site already, so get on there and vote. The city section plays quarterfinals Wednesday. CIF plays on Friday. Happy Thanksgiving on Thursday. There we right. go. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, Liz. Nicely done. Thank you very much.